Is this thing on? I don't know. Whatever, I think it is. <clears throat> what is up, guys? Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the very first video I'm going to be posting. So if you are watching this video first, I want you to go comment down in the comment section and say, yo, I watched this video first. And whoever does that, I will Venmo them one dollar. So yeah, just go comment. <laughs> first comment gets a dollar. Anyways, um, yeah, I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel, so why not? Um, I don't even know how to start. I don't have a script. I don't really... I kind of know what I want to talk about, but other than that, I'm just kind of free balling this. Um, I guess I will introduce myself. My name is Derek Sowards, and I am 20 years old, and I recently just got married. As you can tell, the beautiful pictures on the wall. Anyways, so pretty much what this video is gonna be about is side hustles. Um, if there's one thing 2020 has taught us, it is that it is very important to have multiple streams of income because you don't know how fast or how sudden you're gonna lose your job. Um, so if you have multiple sources of income, um, you're gonna have a lot more sustainability in the long term and you're gonna make more money. So something that's become really popular is our side hustles. And there's a thousand different side hustles. Um, but today in particular, I wanna talk about a side hustle that is not usually talked about. And it is very uncommon, but it's starting to get more popular. And that is couch flipping. So recently, um, there's a YouTuber, his name was Ryan Pineda. Pineda, yo no sé. Um, but yeah, so he posted a video and he said that he was making 8K a month on the side hustle and it was couch flipping. So let me just kind of explain what couch flipping is and how he was able to make so much money. So pretty much what it is, um, it's founded upon the idea that everyone needs a couch. Every single person has a couch. I have a couch, I'm sure you have a couch, your neighbors have couches. Um, people are buying new couches every day. And with that, people are also selling couches every day. Or they're giving away couches. And that is the key. So pretty much, um, to get into couch flipping, you just hop on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or whatever site is in your area um, and you just type in free couches or cheap couches or whatever it is. <clears throat> and you start scrolling through and looking for those good deals um, that you think you could potentially make money on. So what you do is you go, you pick up the couch, take it back to your house or storage unit or a warehouse, wherever. Um, and you clean up the couch a little bit. You take pictures of the couch um, that are nice. And then you just post it on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace uh, just for a higher amount of money. So I'm gonna see if I can't do that uh, because why not? It sounds super interesting and I don't know how long I'll do it for, but I at least wanna flip one couch. So um, I'm just gonna kinda take you through that process, see if we can't make any money, and yeah, see if it's actually real and if it's a real side hustle. But keep you posted, stay tuned, first YouTube video, it's gonna be fun. So let's hop online and see if we can't find us um, a good deal. Let's go pick up a couch. Okay guys, here we are um, on Facebook Marketplace. And yeah, this is my first YouTube video, so I don't know how to freaking screen record and put that into a video, so yeah, I'm just gonna record it um like this but so that's pretty much what you do is you get on and you just kind of look to see what's out there what's cheap um and what's free as well so let's see here this one's 50 dollars 
couches, so those are pretty nice. Um, and it looks like it is a set. So that is not a bad deal. Super close, it's in Orem, Utah. Currently in Provo, so. Okay, yeah. So that's $50. Um, so you just have to take into account if you can resell, uh, you're gonna have to at least sell for $50, right? Let's see what else we can find. Okay, so I couldn't find a ton of great stuff on Facebook Marketplace. So I hopped on this local website called ksl.com and we're gonna see if we can't find anything uh, worthwhile here as well. He says, Ryan Panetta says that leather sells better than, than fabric. So we're gonna try to find us something leathery. Um, and he also says that sectionals sell better than just like a regular love seat or a regular chair. See, this one's $120 for this three-piece sectional. We'll keep looking around. Um, the key here, guys, is just to, to always be checking. You need to be checking this like you would be checking your social media. Um, just every... <laughs> 30 minutes, uh, yeah, hop on this, and you're eventually gonna find something um, that hasn't been bought, and then that's when you need to jump on it and, um, and buy. So we're gonna keep looking, but I'll keep you posted. Okay, so I went to the free tab um, on KSL, and there's some pretty nice stuff here. Like, look at this brown sectional looks pretty big clean fabric sectional I shaped with curved corner piece pickup only in West Jordan two small holes so I want to find something that doesn't have any holes or rips or tears just something that I can easily turn around and sell for more money but I do like the thought of getting something for free especially because this is my first couch flip um, so I'll keep looking and keep posting. What is up guys? So I kept looking, I kept looking and every 30 minutes or so I'd refresh the page. Um, a couch came up, it was a leather sectional and it was for free. It's about 45 to an hour minute drive. Um, but yeah, I think it's gonna sell really easily. Um, it was free and I texted the guy right away it was on for about 10 minutes so i texted him i was like hey i can come get it right now is that is that okay with you and he said yeah sure come on over um i'll help you load it up so hey we're gonna go get a free couch um and then we're gonna bring it back here and clean it up a little bit and we'll keep you posted how that goes what is up guys so that's the couch but before we take a look at the couch i just wanted to um give you some tips for loading a couch i had this trailer that i loaded into that i loaded it into um but obviously you're gonna want to bring straps so bring your straps um yeah straps and then you're also going to want to bring some blankets. Um, just like some moving blankets, some blankets you don't really care about. And what you're going to do with these is you're going to fold them up into little teeny squares. And then when you put the couch on the trailer, um, you're going to... So that strap's going to come over the couch and it's going to hit this back part right here. You're going to want to put that blanket right here so that it has something to support it and so that it doesn't break the frame of this couch just to kind of relieve the tension a little bit um just because you don't want this frame to break while you're moving it anyways this is the couch guys it was a free couch and look guys the best part about this couch it reclines baby Woo! Um, it also reclines on that side. Anyways, as you can see, um, the leather is kind of worn. 
Uh, definitely on the cushion part. But up here at the top, it's pretty nice leather. Um, it could use some conditioner for sure. It's pretty dry. Um, but everything else, I mean, for a free couch, look at that leather. It's pretty nice. So, we got her all wiped down. Um, she's looking a little cleaner. <laughs> Not a ton though, um, but I definitely think you could buy like some conditioner, some leather cleaner, um, and you could for sure make it look really, really good. But I was kind of in a hurry. It's getting dark out here, super cold. So I just wiped it down with a rag, the wet rag. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna sit here actually in this recliner and I am gonna make a, an ad f on Facebook Marketplace and we're gonna see if we can't sell this baby for 300 plus dollars. So, sweet. So I just posted the ad on Facebook. Um, as you can see, very nice leather sectional recliner, free delivery. I posted it for $300, um, but I mean, if it's super far away, obviously I'm gonna charge more, but within about 30 minute range, it will be a free delivery. Um, anything above that, I'm gonna charge more, but anyways, like I told you guys, um, no holes in the couch, there's no scra scratches. It just looks really, really good. Um, and one huge thing that I left out, guys, about this business model is that you need to offer the free delivery. That is key to getting people to buy your couch rather than other people's. So let's take a look here. This um, were, the, were the pictures that I took. So obviously it's kind of ghetto. You can see like a trash can. <laughs> we're kind of living in a, a ghetto apartment right now, but I mean, $300, this is the couch you're getting. And like I told you guys before, I cleaned it up. Um, everything works on it. And I mean, I got it for free. So we're gonna see if we get any takers for the 300. Keep you guys posted. This is my good buddy, Keaton. Hello. <laughs> we just got done playing basketball. I totally just took a shower. He didn't. Anyways, yesterday we posted the couch and I listed it for $325. And within the first four hours, I had like at least three people um, who were interested in the couch. So, yeah, it was that simple. It was literally about four or five hours um, when I had four messages. So, I'm actually recording this on my phone, and someone just called me, so yeah, the video got cut. Anyways, what I was going to say was that, yeah, we're going to go sell this couch for $325 when we got it for free. Anyways, Keaton, do you have anything else you want to say? It's a good deal. Making some money. Let's make some money! Woo! Okay, I see you guys out there for real. So this is our trusty steed. We just loaded up the couch, got it all strapped up. Let's pray she doesn't fall off on the interstate, but I mean, it's only one way to test it. So this is how she's looking, pretty good. So we just got done delivering that couch. A fat $325. For a free couch! Woo! Oh my gosh. There's a gate that I almost just hit. Anyways, guys, um, yeah, couch flipping. It's dope. I recommend it to all. Um, yeah. Bye. What is up, guys? So, we just got done selling that couch. This is the next day, uh, just because I didn't have time to record. Am I even recording right now? I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of go over my overall experience. Um, 
But yeah, funny story. So the lady actually texted me this morning and she said, so I found a Kindle in between your couch cushions. <laughs> what? So that's not my Kindle. That was the person that I got the truck from. I mean, the couch from, that was his Kindle, I think. Anyway, she's gonna mail me the Kindle and then I'll probably reach out to the guy that I got the free couch from and see if he wants his Kindle back. But yeah, I mean, we just went to her house, dropped off the couch and she been with me. Um, it was super, super chill. My overall experience with couch flipping was honestly really, really good. I feel like it could be a great side hustle for anyone who's, who's looking for a side hustle. Um, I made a total of $300 profit. So yeah, $25 for gas, drive there and back. Um, so yeah, it was honestly super good. I made 300 bucks in about two days. Startup, all you need is access to the internet and then you would need a trailer or a truck or something to put the couches in to move them around. But overall, um, super, super good experience and I made 300 bucks, so I'm happy about it. I'm just gonna share a couple quick tips and tricks that I think would be extremely helpful to anyone who is looking at couch flipping or who just wants to try it uh, for the weekend. The first one is that the business model has to be free delivery. You have to offer free delivery to people because not everyone has a truck or a trailer and honestly, that's how you get your stuff sold faster. When you offer that free delivery, people are more intrigued by it, more interested, and you're gonna get a lot more people sliding in your DMs wanting to buy that couch. So the second tip is gonna be look for leather. People love leather, I don't know why, but they do. Just kidding, I know why. Uh, just cause leather looks a lot better and it lasts a lot longer, it's more durable, um, and you can restore leather, so that's all around just better than a fabric couch like this one. So if you can find leather, definitely go for leather. You're gonna make more money. Um, and look for big sectional couches. I feel like sectionals are in, they always have been, they always will be. People are always looking for them, so look for sectionals. The third tip is gonna be to check Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or whatever site you're using every hour, uh, just so that you can find the best deals. People are always posting couches every hour of the day, so you need to be on your game uh, because you wanna be the first person to text and to say, hey, when can I come get this couch? So that would be the third tip. Fourth tip, I feel like this one's pretty obvious, but don't buy a couch that has holes or rips or tears in it. Uh, just look for a, a good couch. I mean, yeah, it can have a little bit of wear, obviously, it's used, but try to stay away from holes, rips, tears, scratches even. Scratches aren't as big of a deal, but for sure stay away from holes and tears unless you know how to sew them together and you're willing to take the time out of your day to do that. The last tip that I have um, is going to be if you're alone and you're wanting to do this, I would definitely recommend getting a dolly, um, like a metal dolly to push the couches around on. Or I would also recommend getting, they have like, what are they called? I think they're called furniture dollies. Anyways, they're like little square pieces of wood. Uh, just two by fours screwed together and they have wheels on the bottom of them so you can set couches or furniture or whatever on them and you can roll it around. Um, I feel like that would be extremely helpful especially if you're alone because the couches can definitely start to get heavy. So yeah I mean those are all the tips that I have um, but yeah comment down below if you want to see another video what kind of video ideas you want I mean, I don't even know how many people are going to see this video. I'm guessing probably like 10 views, but hey, let's go for 100,000. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, stay tuned for the next episode. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well. Turn the notification bell on. I've always wanted to say that, and now I can. So, sweet, guys. See you later.